Oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a few things to go into here, but it's all about Rings of Power. We're seeing what I think is the first of many exits. Uh, actors who took part in season one just leaving, just quitting. The guy who played Adar, gone, quit. He has addressed it now, and his statement doesn't stop any speculation that he's just like, no, this is absolute garbage. And you'll see why in a minute. We'll get into it. Uh, but also, an original Lord of the Rings actor absolutely slams Rings of Power as being just uh, an epic waste of time and essentially just looking for your money. Just money making, basically. No care or attention and literally, and I quote, not the real thing. So, it's interesting stuff when other people are now coming out. You know, you've got actors leaving. You've got actors speaking out against it. Uh... I don't know, it's just funny, it's just interesting. So, let's get on to uh, this chap. Joseph Maul, who played Adar. And you know what? It was actually one of the only good things about the show, Adar. Adar was great. Really good actor. And gave a good performance as Adar as well. A really good performance. But he has addressed it. Again, not in any way where you go, oh yeah, that makes sense. Just goes, I loved my time exploring Middle-earth and diving in to Tolkien's mythology. I'm so honoured that the character was liked. He cared deeply about telling you his story. Although as an actor, it remains my wish, my job description, to explore new characters and worlds. Wish you all the best to cast and crew for season two. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. I mean, if you liked it, you just stay in it, wouldn't you? Like, do you see what I mean? It's a bit of a wish wash of a response. It's like, well, I'm glad you liked him, but psych, I'm done. Like, it doesn't. Okay, what am I supposed to take from that? There's no explanation. Just that, what better opportunities have come up? Because his statement is he wants to explore new characters and worlds, and it's like, okay. But you would stay if you enjoyed it, wouldn't you? You would. Bearing in mind, he's been on shows long-term before. <laughs> so, I think this... I genuinely do think this speaks volumes. Quite, quite large volumes, ladies and gents. Uh, and also, just before we do continue, please do hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Uh, and please do share the video. Uh, and in the description box, I'm live streaming again. You can see Mistakes Reviews Live Archives, which is a channel where there's loads of clips and full stream episodes. If you can't watch the whole thing, there's a whole bunch of clips. It's good stuff. So, which actor tore it apart? Oh, that's right, yeah, Bernard Hill. Yep. Doesn't think it should ever have happened, in fact. Pretty brazen. Uh, pretty epic comments. Yeah. Now, this is the chap, obviously, who played King Theoden. Um, yeah, and he was really good as well. Like, you know, you've got to remember, this isn't like an actor who was terrible. He was a good actor, and he is a good actor. He was good in the role. Um, so it's not just like, you know, someone being awful and coming out and going, oh, yeah, you're all better than me. No, he, he was really good. He was really good. Now, basically, he was asked if he's watched the show, and he snaps back no not interested it's a money making venture and I'm not interested in watching that or being in it good luck to them and all that stuff but it's not like the real thing I just absolutely ripping it apart I mean it's funny don't get me wrong and I agree with him but it's Funny coming from an actor saying this stuff. An actor from the original. Or the original trilogy. Original adaptation, I guess. Not even really that, to be fair. It's been ad adapted before. But uh, speechless. Absolutely speechless. So it's not me that's bringing the hate today. It's uh, other actors. So anyway, Metro would go on and ask whether Hill believes the Lord of the Rings franchise should have simply ended when Jackson's trilogy did. To which he responded, completely yes. I think they were pushing it when they made The Hobbit. The Hobbit's a tiny book, he added. They did it well, 
They did it really, really well. They expanded it, but I think you can only stretch a piece of elastic so far. I think they managed it in The Hobbit because there were some really good things in The Hobbit, without a doubt. And I mean, he's not mincing his words. You know, I, I didn't really like an awful lot of The Hobbit. And I, I like The Hobbit in general. Like, the book is a good book. I didn't really like The Hobbit, those films. Yeah, I thought they sucked, to be fair. Personal opinion. Um, but they were nowhere near as blatant a money-making venture as this series has been. At the very least, they tried to tell a story that was Tolkien. Whereas this, The Rings of Power, is being just made up. So, uh, Bernard Hill is right when he says it's a money-making. It's just all about making money. And it's not the real thing. Because it's not. It is being made up as it goes along. And when you have Tolkien scholars quitting, that's kind of when you should be concerned that your product may not be that respectful to Tolkien. And when you've got to employ a bunch of, I don't know, namby-pamby douche canoes on the internet and go, these are our Tolkien influencers, our Tolkien mega fans, and they can't espouse anything, anything that they know of Tolkien, you kind of go... Yeah, you're, you're talking shit now, mate. Uh, so, Adar's gone. Mark my words. Like, you heard it here first. I reckon he'll be the first of many, that actor. I reckon he'll be the first of many. But it'll be interesting to see. Because now one's gone. You never know. They could try and sweeten the deal with everyone else and go, Ooh, We'll pay you more money, please stay. Which I wouldn't put it past them. Because this is bad PR. This doesn't look good. The actors are just dropping. It doesn't look good that other actors are slamming them either. But it's still funny. So let me know what you guys think down below. It's going to start shooting in the UK. Uh, momentarily. Like next year it starts shooting. I think it's already begun production. Um, but that is in the UK now. They moved it from New Zealand to the UK. So it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds. I reckon they will do big double turns on a lot of stuff try and rectify things but i i think they're done i don't know there's much you can there's not much in the way of saving this anyway so drop your thoughts down below give the video a like and a share take care <laughs>